Hello, this is Venkat and welcome to our ASP.NET Core tutorial. In this course, we'll discuss all the basic, intermediate and advanced ASP.NET Core concepts that help you build data-driven web applications. By the end of this course, you'll be able to perform all the CRUD operations, that is create, read, update and delete using SQL Server as our database. We'll create an ASP.NET Core project from scratch. As we build this project and progress through the course, We'll discuss everything you need to know to build data-driven web applications using this new ASP.NET Core web framework from Microsoft. So we will be discussing in detail ASP.NET Core, ASP.NET Core MVC, ASP.NET Core Identity for Security and finally Entity Framework Core for Data Access. So what is ASP.NET Core and what are its benefits and features? ASP.NET Core is a cross-platform, high-performance, open-source framework for building modern, cloud-based, internet-connected applications. It's a redesign of the previous version of ASP.NET, that is ASP.NET 4.x. For this reason, ASP.NET Core was initially called ASP.NET 5, but then later renamed to ASP.NET Core 1.0. It has been redesigned from the ground up and offers several benefits and features. So let's look at these one by one. Cross-platform. ASP.NET 4.x applications can run only on Windows platform, whereas ASP.NET Core applications can be developed and run across different platforms like Windows, Mac OS or Linux. From a hosting standpoint, ASP.NET 4.x applications can be hosted only on IIS, whereas ASP.NET Core applications can be hosted on IIS, Apache, Docker, or even self-host in your own process. From a development standpoint, you can either use Visual Studio or Visual Studio Code for building .NET Core applications. You can also use third-party editors like Sublime. With ASP.NET Core, we use the same unified programming model to create MVC style web applications and ASP.NET web APIs. Because of this one unified programming model, both the MVC controller class and the ASP.NET web API controller class inherit from the same framework controller base class and returns iActionResult. As the name implies, iActionResult is an interface and it has got several implementations. These two types here, that is ViewResult and JSONResult, are just two examples of the built-in result types that implement this iActionResult interface. So, in the case of ASP.NET Web API, the controller class returns JSONResult, which is obviously JSON data that the Web API exposes. And in the case of an MVC-style web application, the same controller class might return ViewResult. If this doesn't make much sense at the moment, please do not worry. It'll be crystal clear as we progress through the course. Out of the box, ASP.NET Core has built-in support for dependency injection. If you're new to this powerful concept, please do not worry. We'll discuss it in great detail with examples in our upcoming videos. Testability. With built-in support for dependency injection and the unified programming model for creating both web applications and web APIs, Unit testing ASP.NET Core applications is easy and an enjoyable experience. Open source and community focused. ASP.NET Core is fully open source and is being actively developed by the .NET team in collaboration with a vast community of open source developers. So ASP.NET Core is continually evolving as the vast community behind it is suggesting ways to improve it and also help fix bugs and problems. This means we have a more secure and better quality software. Modular ASP.NET Core provides modularity with middleware components. We use these middleware components to compose both the request and response pipelines. Out of the box, ASP.NET Core already includes a rich set of built-in middleware components. We can also create our own custom middleware components. As we progress through the course, we'll discuss in detail what middleware components are and how to use them and compose request and response pipelines. What are the prerequisites to take up this course? Well, basic HTML, CSS and C-sharp. 
you don't have to be an expert by any means. All you need is the basic knowledge. Prior MVC knowledge is helpful but definitely not required because we will discuss all the required MVC basics in this course. Next up, identifying and installing tools required to start building ASP.NET Core web applications. Thank you for watching.